What's up everyone and in this vlog we're going to Brick Fan Expo in Tampa, a surprisingly local convention to me. Usually I gotta drive all the way out of Florida like 10, 12, 20 hours to go to a Lego convention. This weekend we only gotta go two. Before I can leave though I have some tidying up to do, like finishing the upload of this video that's finally rendering that should have been out 10 days ago. I wanted to get some other videos done, like a video about this, the review on that that should have been out three weeks ago because it's been sitting in here for three weeks, but those will not be getting done. We gotta get out of here. Now I am supposed to bring some Lego to display at the convention and I got just the thing. I'm not a huge mock builder, but I happen to have something that looks like a mock and it's very cool and I think people would enjoy seeing it. And just for fun, a preview of things to come, I framed up some of my very cool Lego Star Wars posters that I've gotten in recently. And we've been doing a lot of organizing and like part storage. So like all these need to find a home in some bins. But this vlog ain't about that or all this stuff. It's about going to this convention. So we got to bring this downstairs and get it put in the car because it's coming with me. All right, we're getting out of here and our first stop will actually be at Jason's because we have to pick up some banners for Steven. So I lied about where my first stop would be. We're actually stopping at Orlando Brick Co. So I can go in the office and grab some MR tiles to give to fans. I got what I needed. And while we're here, I wanted to quickly check out the Star Wars section. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I mean, I'm not really looking to buy anything. We're literally about to go to a whole convention, but I just want to check out the wall because I think it's cool to look at. Pulling into B3 Customs now. Just got to pick up a couple things and we will be out of here. All right, it's much smaller than I imagined. I thought I was getting a banner here, but this, this is what we got. All right, we'll bring this right to him. So last year we were in that convention hall way over there. And this year we're in this one, which I think is supposed to be much larger. I assume the one on the left, but maybe it's the one on the right. I guess it doesn't matter but one of these buildings. I got the perfect parking spot right next to the sign too. I might be taking that with me when I leave. Just kidding, I wouldn't steal it. Or would I? Who's to say? All right, made it up to Steven's booth here. We're gonna go, apparently there's like a yard sale, so I wanted to go check that out over in the other room or corner, we'll see. Lord of the Rings, Oh boy. You got everything. Oh wait, how much are these? 60 each. I ended up buying this for 100 and these two for 110 total. Got one European box, one non-European box. So 210 for the trio. Hopefully that's all I'll buy here. Pretty cool little yard sale. Didn't expect there to be one. So I think that's a W in and of itself. What are you getting? A lot of sets? Oh, yeah. mini figs. Disney figs. My Lord. Uh, Orlando Brico, Atlanta Brico has got their set up here. Ooh, that's a nice pumpkin shirt. I should probably buy that for Halloween time. That's actually really sick. Noah here has presented me with a letter. And what I thought was a scroll. I'm gonna have to get you something. All right, we're gonna have to make no, this no, even. No, no, no. This might be the last banner I ever get. <gasps> Isn't that cool? That is actually insane. Dude, thank you. You not have to do that. Christmas. Now I'm like really actually done. <laughs> my collection's complete. It's over. I'm doing some scouting for my Instagram reel of the most expensive items at this convention, and we have a contender there with a dropship and ATOT at three thousand. Um, there's just like a $1,200 modular there, but honestly, it might not make the cut. We'll see. What's your name again? Uh, Josh. Josh, you have a channel? Uh, no, I don't. No? Oh, man. It's all right. Well, he builds anyway. <laughs> it's Thank a pretty you. nice Hothmog. You said you had to gut this one out in two days or something? Yep, so six gray 48 by 48 base plates filled out in two days. It's crazy. Uh, I was and, up for a long time. Yeah. at at will go on top of it. It'll look super cool. Got the spots for it. Thanks, man. Very exciting. Never Do you have a Falcon? Uh, okay, so my buddy's actually bringing the UCS. Oh, he's bringing it, okay. This, yeah. I going to say, I don't see one, so. I want to do a custom one, but you know, right. I didn't have enough time. But it's all right. The Lego one looks pretty damn good, but yeah. There's his at, -AT so. Oh, yeah, because you got the custom at, -AT already, so. Yeah. could totally get both, yeah. I just talked to Nick. We got the hotel sorted, so we're going to head there after the Lego store. But, yeah, I'm supposed to meet Steven and... Uh, them at the Lego store, so we need to go there now. It's gonna close in an hour. Shoot, if I knew you could just buy a high school diploma for $400, I wouldn't have went. That's cheap, dude. I always had a lot of time in high school. That is one giant green blob, all transparent green. That's actually insane. Looks like they're here already. What did I come for? So I think I'm gonna get for myself a couple boxes of these, because I have not seen those before. And then for Mark, I need to get a few boxes of these for his Tron mock. He needed them, so I'm gonna get them for him. All right, so we got four boxes of the blue parts here for Mark for his Tron build. So we'll bring those back to him. I think he'll be happy with that. So I just realized the store is so limited on shelf space that like sets like the ATTE, you just get this sliver. You don't even get to see the whole set anymore. They've got some of these sets down here. At least they're giving them side box art because there's some of these sets that they wouldn't give side box art in the past. 
just by happenstance or because they're too stupid to remember to do it. Um, maybe the Sith Infiltrators Traders one, yeah, like it just doesn't get side box art. And so it would look terrible like that, but luckily those ones have it. I think I'm actually gonna get a few of these while I'm here. So in total, I got seven pick a brick cups, except four of them are not for me. And then we got Jedi Bob Starfighter, but we're heading out of here, time to go to the hotel. So Brick Fan Expo Tampa hooked me up with a hotel room at Embassy Suites, which I don't think I've ever stayed at, but look at this, there's a window. So I can just see into my room there. It's like super weird. I've never seen anything like it, but we will tap our way in and see what it's all about. Looks like it maybe connects to the other room that's on the corner there. Oop, that light was already on. That was, that's, okay, all right. No light in here, I guess. It's a weird setup for a room. It's really cool though. Like it's, it's super different than normal hotel rooms. Not bad, like got the hotel room, got the front room. So it's nice and separated. I really like that. Um, and then a view out into the parking lot, which is obscured by my light and the water there. But we had to get back to the convention hall real quick. Um, I just wanted to check into the room and make sure it existed. So we're all settled here. Someone here has got a really nice Audi R8. It looks great, but yeah, we're gonna go back in for a few minutes and see what's up. Well, that little sign there makes things a bit more obvious as to where I was actually supposed to go earlier to get in the convention hall. So that works. Oh, there's some people in there. So the only thing I really have to do tonight is unbox my gunships. We'll get these put together real quick and then head to the hotel for the night. I don't think I'm gonna do much else here and they're probably trying to close anyway. All right, so I think that's probably it for my display here. Just a nice little Star Wars thing. Just a few gunship builds. Got the banner that Noah gifted me now, which was a nice addition. Just fills in that back table and then the m, m mosaic which has definitely gotten some eyeballs a lot of people come up and they're like wow what's that <laughs> makes sense it is a very unique item so pretty cool to have been able to bring here we're getting out of here i think i don't think i'm gonna spend much more time here tonight because it's like 10 p.m and there's practically no one here look how good that mario luigi mosaic build is but yeah it's pretty empty for the night already even the vendors are gone we have to go through the fancy entrance this morning not the back end so we get to I guess pay $10 to park, but it looks cool. I wanted to find some good Star Wars stuff, but I also still need to be taking notes for what the most over or most expensive stuff is. No minifigs, $100 on the Dark Falcon. And they got a ton of Hana sets back there, including looks like $2,200 for the pirate ship, lots and lots of stuff that cool. Jar Jar hat that kid has. I'm behind one of the booths looking at some of the sets here. See some of the pricing for some of the newer sets. We got some incredible older retired UCS sets, including two Cloud Cities. So you have one Cloud City up there, and then one Cloud City over here in the case that we've actually seen before because I've definitely had it here before. But yeah, this booth is just packed with sets. They have so many, top to bottom. It's like literally so many. It's actually incredible how many they have. Tons and tons of sets. Little Magnet Vader from 2013 there. Due to the volatile pricing on the secondary market, all sales are final. The volatile pricing, I guess. Kind of crazy. All right. Didn't find anything more expensive here. So right now, Block Party has all of the most expensive items except for like the Death Star that the Brick Show has. Just a minute ago, what? some kid was like touching my mosaic over yeah. there and I go to Dom, I'm like, hey, should I tell this kid to stop touching my mosaic? And I, and I go- And I, I was like, I'll leave it alone. And I'm like, no, because it's gonna give him the impression that he can touch other stuff. What does he do he next? Walked up. Touches my stuff. <laughs> yeah, he walked up and he closed his mouth on his Ugandan knuckle. See, you're the problem. I thought you're you were gonna slap him. I, I was this close. <laughs> it's cold in here. Went to Orlando Brickle yesterday. Yeah, got the shirt. What are your thoughts on the store? Uh, it's pretty cool. Got a lot of stuff there. Okay. Everything. Yeah. And I saw your mom's got Jedi Bob Starfighter. Yeah. Very nice. That, yeah. Very cool. Thank you. It's nice nice to, meet to meet you. Yeah, you thank you. Came upstairs and honestly, the view does not disappoint. This is a pretty incredible view of the convention. You can watch everyone and everything, see what's happening. But yeah, no, this is amazing looking. Definitely been pretty full, pretty busy all day. Met a lot of people so far, so it's been very fun. All my stuff is right over there, but you can't really see it because it's behind those boxes from the brick show. So yeah, this is uh, pretty popping. All right, I wanted to take a few minutes to walk around and look at some of the best builds that we see here. So I'm gonna show you some highlights right now of some of the builds at the uh, convention. We've got the finished Hoff mock over here. Looks great. He said he built it in like a few days, just trying to get it together to finish it up. But yeah, it looks fantastic. Very, very cool to see it actually finished. Something I can't say that I've done. Ooh, self burn. Those are rare. At the back there, he's got Indiana Jones fighting Han Solo. That's a good little Easter egg. I wonder if there's any more Easter eggs in here. Maybe in the trench. Yep, we've got a rebel trooper drinking away the fear. 
some empty bottles along the lines. Not seeing anything else too crazy out there. This one's pretty cool for the older public. Love to see a little older public mock representation at conventions. You don't see that often. You can never go wrong with a little World War II. For those that don't know, World War II kind of has its own, or mil you know, old military kind of has its own cult following within the Lego fandom. It's kind of this weird thing, but there are definitely some very, very cool, unique builds that come out of this stuff. We've got one of Noah's best here with his 2003 Clone Wars mock. I absolutely love this one. We got Coruscant, um, right. kind of like Coruscant Underground vibe, uh, yeah. nightlife, bars. Um, they're only drinking water, I swear. <laughs> um, so you have the, uh, a lot of people think it's like kind of between the uh, episode three and four. So you kind of have early Empire period here. Yeah. They're executing a search warrant. Um, yep. And you got rebels up here looking to ambush them. Oh yeah. So this is awesome. But I like that droid head. That's cool. Oh yeah. Thank you. Um, some of the kids pointed out it's accidentally a Skippy toilet reference. Oh. So I, I apologize. Take it out. Take I'm it out. Sorry, Get rid I'm of sorry. I'm sorry. Another crazy mock here. That we've got the banana with the <laughs> banana for scale. Is it cake? You cut into it. Oh, it's 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 cake. It's, it's real cake. Lego. It's, it's real whatever Lego. you want it to yeah. be. I, I've gassed some of the kids into thinking it's real Lego. Oh yeah, Lego. you're telling kids that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's funny. It's about 3:30. The event is starting to wind down. I've been chatting with people all day. It's been great to meet a lot of you guys. But uh, yeah, I was gonna take another look around some of the vendors, see if I saw anything I wanted. But I really don't think I'm gonna buy anything from any of the vendors. It's not that it's even overpriced. I just don't need it at this point, which is a good problem to have. It's actually not a problem now. So. We'll see. Oh, look at those cringy TikTokers up there taking it. Look how cool he thinks he is. Like, imagine how cringe you look standing like that above a Lego convention. Just think about it for a minute. Just think about it. I'm going to throw something at them, just like Joey did to me. Hey, Joey, throw something at Dom. <laughs> I'm keeping that. Even That's mine. They are completely. <laughs> <laughs> Good throw. <laughs> That's crazy. We were right here, right under them, and they didn't look down. These guys have like zero situational awareness. I guess if you throw something at someone, you assume you're not going to get it back. Yeah. All right, write that off as a loss for the business. A thousand for a sealed Vader is crazy. 1800 for a mint C3PO is probably also crazy, but it's mint, so that's nice. I don't know, bro. So these are. Uh, $350 on mnrshop.com, I think. So you should check that out on mnrshop.com. mnrshop.com has best yeah. prices. That's what, I, well, that's I what I've been saying. OrlBrick.com. OrlBrick.com? That's a real website? Yeah. I heard it was a scam. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think a uh, faded print might be putting it lightly when it comes to that stormtrooper there. And by lightly, I mean not at all. Maybe the back has a better look. And I just got a text from Joey, uh, just like as I'm literally standing here. Oh, there it is. Custom Zeb. That's so cool. There it is. Hundred dollars. That's the one that we did. Holy crap! That is very cool to see. Hundred bucks. That's crazy. I'm gonna post that on my Instagram story. But they got a lot of good figures here. But I need to take a picture of that. So the convention closes in like ten minutes, but it's pretty empty at this point now. Like it's crazy how busy it was earlier. But yeah, five o'clock. It's usually closed by now at most places. So uh, we're about to head off to the Tampa game. But yeah, pretty dang empty. Not buying anything. I don't need any of that. I saw the sand crawler. Just a little sliver of a sand crawler but it's open, it's used. If it was sealed, I would have really thought about it. But then again, it probably would have been very expensive, so pass. All right, heading out now, it's five o'clock. We're actually gonna go to Bricks and Minifigs in St. Pete first, because it's just something I'm sure to do. And then we'll meet Steven back at Tropicana Field for the Rays Orioles game. Definitely weird to see a two-story storefront, but we'll check it out and see how good it is. It's a very uniquely shaped store, and Sands is not gonna believe that they actually have the Indiana Jones banner. That's actually insane. I can't believe they have that. They also have a cool castle one. Dude, that's crazy. $25, $30 at the convention. Moment of truth. Oh, retail price. I'm actually surprised they didn't even mark it up a little bit. So retail price, okay, all right. Sometimes these bricks and minifig stores, I'll mark them up like Toys R Us. But this one appears to all be, yeah, just flat retail price. So, oh, 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 oh Jedi Bob, would they? No, $40, not bad. Retail price. They've also got this pretty cool 2015 store display that is notably not for sale. At the very back of the store here, there's a pretty neat Clone Wars poster. I've seen this somewhere. I don't know how you get it or if you're supposed to print it or what the deal is. I think this is something they printed out. Yeah, looking at the quality of it, they definitely just printed this out themselves. But uh, yeah, I'd love to make one of these for myself to 
hang up on the wall. But like, yeah, you can see those jagged edges. Like if it was a real poster Lego gave out, it would not look like that. But then again, maybe it would these days, who knows? But now nah, it looks pretty cool. Here's kind of some of the rest of what they have. Honestly, it's a pretty empty feeling store just because it's so big. I mean, they've got a decent amount of stuff, but definitely feels empty. Just a lot of floor space. Oh, we got a Mets jersey, all right. So right as we stood up to walk out, some kid turned around, probably like 14, 15, whatever. And he goes, Ryan, can I get a picture? <laughs> I was like, dude, that's crazy. He was like, yeah, I had to look up on YouTube to make sure I wasn't like tripping. So I didn't embarrass myself. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. So that was pretty cool. So shout out to that kid. Anyway, um, game's over going back to the hotel and calling it night because it's 11 o'clock already. I didn't actually think it'd go this late. It was a four hour baseball game. I thought they made baseball games shorter now. That's what I was told forever is that baseball games are better and shorter but that was still a four hour game that's absurd nice and late made it back to the hotel gonna go to bed oh that's a lot of streaks on the camera but yeah we're gonna go to bed and wake up in the morning for day two back at the convention hall for day two the kids Rock really shot. like my Eminem mosaic that i brought so that's good also not so cool guy dom apparently it's gonna be on the news i don't know how he swung that he must have bribed that guy a lot of money so i was walking around and i forgot on the first day I saw this Boeing Dreamliner. I have been wanting that set for a long time. It's 600, I have no idea if that's a good deal or not, so I gotta look it up, but I'm considering it. All right, I'm over in the Brick Show's booth. They've got this Droid Boost set in a good condition box that I want, but 350 I think is way too high. I don't know if he looked up the wrong thing, because most of these other things feel right, but uh, yeah, I gotta look this up. I gotta see if that's not 350 and see if I can talk them down. Side note, they're kind of hidden down here, but they've got the cool old Lego Star Wars magnets, so that's a good find. Liam here just put me on. Now, it might be out of stock by the time you, you, you see this, but he had me sign one of these, and he's like, oh, I got them for $8. They were on clearance on Walmart. Apparently, Walmart's selling three packs for $24, bro. Yeah. Why a steep, bro, I'm gonna buy, you have no idea. I'm gonna rack up so much credit card debt right now. Small update, very oddly, it only works for his address. So I couldn't get them for $24 for three. But like, like I put in his address on my phone and it works. So it's no like secret cheat or anything. It's just where he lives, it's cheaper online for some reason. Cool guy Dom, did you buy this for $50? I no, I got it for like 40. Oh, you talked him out of it, wow. Yeah. It was nine ninety five. He had the price on the back all time. Oh, oh my god! Oh, you know skibbity. I bought like twenty of these on Bricklink. Sk don't. What don't the Sigma? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Fortnite. That's a stop emoting. <laughs> it's pretty empty at this point. Um, not even as empty though. Yesterday at five, I think it was more empty than it is now. People are getting those last second purchases in. I would love to buy that Boeing. I would love to buy so many things right now, but. I'm gonna pass. I'm, I'm not gonna buy the Death Star. I'm not gonna buy the Droid Boost. I'm going to escape this convention having only spent like $200. It's actually insane. I'm very proud of myself. But this will be very easy to tear down. Everything just goes back in the box. This rolls right up and that goes back in its big box, which is hopefully still under. Oh, yeah, there's the stuff I bought. Cool. But yeah, very easy. So that's just about it for Brick Fan Expo Tampa. Let's see what Joey says they did. How was it, Joey? I had fun. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. You did not look like you had fun. No, I had fun. I'm just tired. Long Where are weekend. your Mickey ears then? What? You have no Mickey ears. I changed clothes. All right. All right. Goodbye. The convention's closing and a giant duck just flew. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Oh, my goodness. A duck in the convention is crazy. Wow. It just went behind the curtain. Show's over, I guess. That's crazy. So that's it for my time at Brick Fan Expo Tampa. Thank you very much to Nick for having me here. Uh, it was a great time. So if you guys ever wanna check out a Brick Fan Expo event, I'll put a link in the description below to their events. Use code MNR, you'll get $2 off, hopefully, at all the events. But uh, yeah, I had a good time. So that's it for this vlog. See you in the next one.